Hey guys, how you doing? So I want to tell you about another great summer option if you haven't um, tried this already. It's Moan Vetiver by uh, Essential Parfums and by the created by the perfumer Bruno Jovanovic. Um, so let's talk about him for a second. Uh, he, you may or may not know his name well. Um, well, his name might sound familiar because he, I noticed that he's done a lot of collaborations uh, for a lot of big designer names and generally for very kind of mass appealing scents. Uh, for instance, he's done um, uh, Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, uh, Coach uh, for Men and Coach Platinum, Paco Rabanne Pure Access, um, all kind of very youthful, uh, fresh, sweet, uh, but I do think kind of unique in that, uh, I guess, yeah, in that market, um, you know, for example, Paco Rabanne Pure Access, it's, it's, it's an interesting scent. Um, it's a really nice balance of uh, like a fizzy freshness with some underlying sweetness. Um, so I think you can kind of smell his touch in all of these creations and in this one as well. But this one, for sure, uh, I think the scent is targeted more toward a, a more mature crowd. Um, it's a, It's more... It's 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 a uh, despite being an eau de parfum, it's a pretty quiet, um, yeah, scent, and I think that most people might actually even uh, you know complain about this being a bit of a skin scent. Um, it's a really close feeling scent, and I found that interesting because you know it's a 17% oil concentration. Which uh, think about another fragrance from this brand by Comptoir Biche, the Bois Imperial. Uh, which is it kind of for me at least has a beastly uh, projection it's a really strong scent uh, and that I think is is 16% so you can you know the concentration doesn't tell you everything about the scent uh, it's really um, I guess the notes and how they blend together this one it feels like one that is a completely blended uh, cocktail so and I think that's how Bruno Jovanovic wanted this fragrance to be. Um, you know, of course, accentuating certain notes, but not really, you know, putting anything in your face. Uh, it's everything is blended together, so you may not pick up on individual notes as much. Although a couple of the notes, ob uh, obviously, you'll notice. So it's a really nice. Um, easy wearing scent. If I had to, and I have been enjoying this a lot because uh, it's been quite hot these days on the East Coast in New York and I think you naturally gravitate towards these kind of scents. It's a very refreshing um, lime forward in the, especially in the opening, sort of, yeah, kind of a very fruity, uh, citrusy scent, especially in the opening. But you can tell that, uh, you know, they are, uh, of course, focusing on uh, the note of vetiver. I would say this is reminding me a lot of uh, Creed's original vetiver. Uh, and in that, you know, some people say that that fragrance, it doesn't even feel like a really a vetiver fragrance, although vetiver is definitely there and utilized. Uh, it's similar here. Maybe uh, this, you know, the vetiver is a little bit more noticeable in this scent, but I would say this is kind of a more masculinized version of Creed's original vetiver. And it also reminded me of Nishane's Sultan vetiver, uh, I think because of the, the Haitian vetiver note here. It has the, that same, yeah, it has that same natural kind of smoky woody um, vetiver. And I, I do know that here they also added some other woody facets like cashmere wood uh, that that might and, and patchouli that might give this also more of the earthiness not just the vetiver but it, it strikes that same accord as sultan vetiver but not as strong much you know easier to wear and yeah a few seconds after the opening you know you get all this really nice um, high quality feeling vetiver scent vetiver based scent uh, and the other kind of equally important part of the scent, I would say, is the gin accord. So uh, if you smell, you know, scents with juniper berries, this is definitely one like that. 
uh, it has a very strong obvious lime accord um, so you, you either I think most people like those kinds of scents um, another scent that I'm reminded of is <clears throat> Garland's Ohm line uh, Ohm uh, Eau de Parfum and Ohm Loboise both actually they're vetiver focused scents as well um, but you know building on a mojito accord and then the other one is a little bit uh, brighter I would say but they're both um, you know heavily utilized vetiver it's similar here but this is kind of unique there's something about this that's so it has more of the peppery smell that again like I said reminds me of Michonne's Sultan vetiver which is a good thing I think for for most people and for most vetiver lovers um, I think you'd be pleased to hear that um, it's a lot light wear, lighter wearing so I wish that it did perform more like a <clears throat> kind of a rich eau de parfum uh, instead you know you I easily go like seven or more sprays of this and I can't uh, it is a skin scent you know ultimately um, from beginning to end really you know I can't uh, short, short, even shortly after applying I can't really smell it coming off as much uh, unless I'm really like moving close to, to where I sprayed it's not one that that kind of creates a sillage as you're walking so that's the one downside but in kind of a professional office type of environment uh, you might want that kind of scent where it's really for yourself and for when you have a close encounter but you're not looking to um, yeah you're not looking to necessarily shine or announce yourself uh, in you know everywhere you walk so it has that overall kind of refined professional um, crisp character about it that I think suits um, just the like an everyday wear uh, and particularly if you're you know working let's say nine to five or a traditional kind of office setting job this might work for you if you have a different kind of if you're in the outdoors more you know I might prefer something you know more interesting or more um, projecting right stronger uh, and but yeah, I think this is a really good kind of quiet indoor scent. Uh, the other thing is, it is more interesting than I, um, you know, it does keep you interested, I would say. So, you know, at first you might think, okay, I know this kind of scent profile, it's quite simple, but there's something about it that gives it a little, just enough twist, not very much, very subtle kind of <sighs> notes. Yeah, and, and I mentioned one which is, which is the cashmere wood so it gives this kind of uh, yeah it has that the same you know you if you smell there's there's so many fragrances that use cashmere wood and you get that same vibe they all kind of use different uh, I guess um, doses of it but but it's kind of like the Arome 2020 where you get that very likable kind of synthetic cozy woody uh, essence uh, you get that here that's a little bit different from the vetiver smell itself uh, and it just rounds everything out and again I think it makes this more like this kind of blended scent as opposed to you know something that really um, is gonna blow you away when you first smell it right there's nothing about this that's like wow this is you know um, something I never smelled before but the way the ingredients are used I think it's a really good scent so <clears throat> I'm not sure you know uh, if it performed <coughs> excuse me if it performed a lot better um, you know I think I would definitely kind of call this a keeper the scent itself is you know 9 out of 10 for me um, but that's really the the one downside right the kind of scent it is it's a it's a fizzy um, vetiver scent so if you if you think if you like original vetiver right then I think you'll like this um, original vetiver comes across stronger to me uh, actually despite that being ultra fresh as well so you know I might opt for that except that is a lot you know many times pricier uh, and I think for the money this is a great value and definitely you know, worth a try so again I think essential parfums does it one of the best brands because of the quality to price uh, ratio you know this um, and and the way that the uniqueness of the smells 
uh, and the, the way that uh, perfumers really infuse their <clears throat> creativity and their artistic talents, uh, which I really like. I think they really put a lot of thought into all of the, the scents, um, you know, Bois Imperial, Fig Infusion, Orange Santal, uh, this one. And so I think 100 ml, 75, that's insanely good um, value, I think. So uh, consider it, uh, you know, you could even blind buy this one, I think, if you even have the smallest inclination for whatever, you could blind buy this. Uh, even if you don't, if you like something like Guerlain Ohm, you'll like this as well. So give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think about this and the brand, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.